Let's understand the Splunk tool. Splunk is a very interesting tool which can be accessed through the browser using which we can monitor the applications, we can analyze the logs, we can investigate the issue, as well as we can produce reports to show the business users. So who are the users of the Splunk tool? The developers like you, me, or any other people who works on the technologies and would like to analyze the issue which can be caused because of some the code or it could be because of the environment. So in order to analyze the issue by the developers, Splunk tool can be used very efficiently. Prior to Splunk, we have the Unix log mechanism where we can use the Unix command to analyze the or to review the log files. Instead of that, Splunk tool gives the UI to achieve the same functionality in better way. The second usage of this Splunk is for monitoring purpose. The administrator in your company may use other administrative tool which are a little outdated or may not have the advanced features. Splunk comes with the internal artificial intelligence functionalities which gives us a more reliable, faster and trustworthy information. The third usage of the Splunk is nothing but the reporting. Many organizations use the very expensive business intelligence tools. Instead of going with the business intelligence tool for basic reporting, the Splunk will help. We can produce the reports based on the data which we are going to feed to this tool. We can capture the stats, generate the various kind of reports and show to the business for understanding the data and taking necessary action. So these are the three major features are very well supported in the Splunk tool. Of course, there are so many features it uses underlying. For example, it can be used for the IT operation, security, DevOps, even for analytics. This Splunk is very helpful. Now, how can we download it? There are three versions comes with the Splunk. One is standalone application which you can install on your system. Then we have the cloud version. Don't have to worry about the infrastructure. You can just pay for the cloud service. And the third is the enterprise edition. For organizations, we need to buy the license. So you can get one of that by going to this Splunk.com and get the Splunk. And at the bottom, you'll see the three links, enterprise, cloud and the free version for the individual. You can compare the product, but as we know, whenever there is a free thing comes, it comes with the, some limitations. But these are worth to try. You can also get the free version of the cloud version for 15 days. So this is very interesting. So I have just enrolled for that. Once you enroll for that, it will give us a screen where you have to provide your first name, last name and other details including your email address. On your email address, you will get the username for the cloud version and the corresponding password. Of course, you can change the password. Once you get the, the URL for the cloud version, the username and password, then you can go to the browser, provide the URL and the username and the corresponding password. This will take us to this screen, which is kind of home screen for the cloud version. On the top, we'll have the, the logo for the Splunk. Then we have the menu bar, which will tell us what are the actions you can perform. Like and you can do the search and reporting. Then you have the monitoring console, universal forwarder. Then we have the manage apps. And if you want to search for the more apps, you can do that too. If there are some errors or some messages related to the Splunk, those can be listed here. If you want to tweak the settings, you can use this settings tab. We'll explore each and everything in detail in our upcoming lecture. 
so let's have a just overview of all these actions then we have the activities like job alerts and uh, triggers on the right hand side will see the user details then we have the splunk menu bar where we can perform the searches see the analytics then data sets reports alerts and dashboards if you go to the dashboards it will show the pre-configured dashboards of course we can configure our own dashboard as well in the search menu bar we'll see uh, what are the functionalities available here we have the search key here we can provide the search string what you would like to search then you can provide the time frame against which you would like to search that given string and some documentation available if you perform searches multiple times the history of those searches will also be maintained here so this is about the tool basic what next next you have to download some data if you are going to do some practice on this tool you need some data to be loaded from where you can get those data in order to get the data we have to go to this Splunk website where you will see the download uh, tutorial data files I will provide this link in the video below and on this screen you will see the download for tutorialdata.zip and we have the download for prizes csv.zip out of these two files right now you, we can just download this tutorial data and put in the your shared or common location once you have this file downloaded then come back to the Splunk I have already downloaded it so we'll go ahead and use that data and we'll load in the Splunk system in order to do that we have to go to the setting and here we can see the add data click on that it will take us to a upload wizard we can upload the data through all these channels like cloud computing networking operating system and even secure data as well you can upload but we are going to use the below options we will upload the data using the file system click on that select the file which we just downloaded I'm selecting tutorial data zip do not unzip that file just use that and click open as it is a zip file the preview is not available but we can click the next button we have to provide some settings here so depending on whether you're using the cloud version or the standalone version the value for this host will vary select the value as a segment if you are using the cloud version I put the value as a 1 so segment in path value should be 1 then indexing keep it default and let's click the review we, we see that the input type is uploaded file file name is tutorial.zip source type is automatic source path segment number is one and the indexing we set as a default so if everything looks good click submit and the data will be loaded in the Splunk of course you can connect to the specific service to pull the log files or pull the some specific data once it is successfully loaded you can do them few actions like either you can go ahead and start searching the data you can add the more data or you can download the apps but let's go ahead and start searching the data click on the start searching it will take us to the search screen if you notice here when you click the start search it automatically creates the source equal to quotes tutorial data dot zip colon asterisk quotes so this is a basic search you can give the string and click on the search the data is already searched and loaded quickly so this is very fast 
and you can get the result in second no matter how much data you are processing so this is about the tool overview in the next lecture we'll see all these features and other functionalities in detail